I hope you enjoy watching us at Crafting with La Blanche. Did you know you can continue watching the craft store 24 hours a day, seven days a week for free using your smart TV? It's just like watching us on your computer or tablet, only now we'll be on your large screen smart TV. Follow these easy steps to get your smart TV set up. Firstly, make sure your smart TV is connected to the internet, either through a wireless connection, if your TV supports it, or via the ethernet port on the back of your TV. If it's not already connected, use your remote control and select network settings through your TV's menu and follow the instructions to set this up. Remember, you will need your router's password at hand whether you are on a wired or a wireless connection. This should be on the side or bottom of your router. You can always refer to your TV's help menu or instruction booklet for more information. Once you are set up, press the Smart Hub dedicated button on your remote. This will vary between brands, but it's usually located at the center of the remote. This is where you'll find your internet web browser app. Select this to open and then type thecraftstore.com into the search bar. And this will take you to our website homepage, which includes our live broadcast and access to previous shows. Now you can watch, purchase and catch up with your favorite TV shows 24 hours a day, seven days a week on your TV whenever you feel crafty. Hi there, my name's Leona. I'm a presenter, a guest and a crafter. I got into crafting years ago, ever since I've been crafting since I was a child and I absolutely love it. I love my job, I love the presenting side because I get to meet loads of really inspirational people and that's just um, the beauty of this. There's always something new to learn, there's always something uh, that you want to get into, it's fabulous. My Let Leone Lou show is also fantastic. It's my weekly highlight. Um, I get to work with loads of really cool brands, um, loads of fantastic products, and again, I'm always learning. And I do get loads of wonderful um, viewers getting in touch as well, which is obviously a highlight of our job. I hope you can join me on my Let Leone Lou shows every Wednesday, 11 a.m. and 2 p.m. Exciting news! For the fifth year in a row, the craft store has been awarded the top accolade of the Platinum Trusted Service Award from FIFO. These awards recognise businesses that deliver exceptional experiences as rated by you, our customers, and we are honoured to have been selected. The Trusted Service Award means you can shop with confidence based on the reviews from over 60,000 the craft store customer experiences. Thank you for your independent reviews. It means a lot to us. Hi, my name's Barbara Gray from Clarity Stamp, and uh, how did I get here? Well, when my children, Grace and Mark, were born, I left the corporate world and I took up crafting full-time. Then I had a moment of clarity, if you'll pardon the pun, and I came up with the transparent art stamp. And the rest is history, really. For the last 27 plus years, I've been pioneering the art of transparent stamping. If you like my style and you like what I do, then please join me, Barbara Gray. Well, hello everybody and a warm welcome to The Craft Store. We're kicking things off in style with a phenomenal uh, show for every artist out there and every crafter as well. I would like to introduce you to the extremely talented Alison Board. Hello. Good morning. Been Good morning. Ages since we worked together. I know. Yeah. I know. Far too long in my opinion. Well, I, I agree. <laughs> I second that. You, and I was saying this, I genuinely mean, if you look at the artwork around that you've done, you are very good. Thank you. That's you very kind really of you to good. say. Look at this. Well, that's that is uh, phenomenally kind of, of you to say. It's um, it's such a passion for me. Yeah. It, it's not uh, it's not where I started. It's mm -hmm. not a thing. I didn't kind of get hit by a magic art stick. I didn't, you know, fall out of the magic art tree. Uh -huh. It is something that I've hard. worked long yeah. and hard at. 
but uh, by the same token, I am fantastically passionate about it and fantastically passionate about uh, getting everybody to paint along too. And that's the key. We've got to thank the SAA as well, who will be speaking about this now, and I know they're a big part of you being yes. here. But um, got to talk about the reason why I wanted to say that, and I really genuinely feel you're an exceptionally talented artist, is because everything on the show. Uh, Ali has chosen to put on this show for a reason. Now, uh, I always believe if you're going to follow someone, if you want to learn from someone, try and learn from the best. And I do believe you fall into that category. We're going to start with some paints. So these are kind of mediums we're going to work with. Now, brand new pick a mix yes, for us. Yeah, two paints mm. that I personally have never demonstrated on uh, the craft store before. Well, this is a big thing. It is a well big done, thing. Well done, same craft store. I know. <laughs> I know. We'll take a little getting used <laughs> One to. One down. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, this is your system three paint. Talk us through System 3 paints. So these are De La Rowney's, uh, flagship acrylic paints and they uh, have a really delicious consistency to them so they're much thicker. Mm -hmm. um, they would be, uh, if you are an artist, you wow. will recognize the consistency of them because they are thicker. Wow. Um, they can be applied in all manner of ways but can be used for your traditional crafts too. Fantastic yeah. on jelly plate, plate printing, Ooh, yes. for example. Um, but if you like to paint uh, onto canvases or all sorts of surfaces, the wonderful thing about acrylic paint, of course, is that it go onto almost anything. And so uh, it dries waterproof as well, just in case you are new to acrylic. Uh -huh. And uh, what that means is you can experiment with the surfaces that you're painting on. You can use that amazing consistency. But of course, I'm a mixed media painter, as you know, yeah. and therefore they're brilliant in terms of combining water-soluble media, which is exactly what you're going to see me demonstrate today. These are great swatches because it really Thank does you. sort of uh, show the consistency and how thick they are, but obviously how you can water those down as well. So uh, you've got a lot to pick from. I mean, I just went through, you've got 21 colors. I just picked up some of those. Uh, the last one I was showing was burnt umber. You've got your primaries, you've got your neutrals. What I would suggest is if you have access, do go online and pick your colors. I mean, pick a mix. How many can we choose from these three? What would be, Ali, your advice? It's really hard. It's really, I knew you were going to ask me that. I mean, if we were starting off, personally, I would, I th think you need to go for at least six. Well, the thing is, I always used to be that tutor mm -hmm. that said, right, well, you must pick your primary colours. You okay. must pick your primary colours and yeah. you must mix them all together. I'm so not that tutor anymore. Okay. I am the tutor that goes, if you are inspired by a colour, pick it. I love because, it. <laughs> because you are much more likely to want to paint with it yeah. if you're looking at it going, well, that's rather delicious, why don't I paint with that? So mm. for me, I'd be going for the violets and the pinks and the metallics okay. and yeah. you know all of those kind of things. Those would be the colours I would go for. Oh, that's very good advice. Go with your heart, uh, where your eye gravitates towards, and also think about the kind of stuff that you are going to be painting. So if it's going to be more landscapes, uh, more natural sort of feels, then go for your natural colours. If it's more flora, then obviously you want to go for brighter colours. Nine ninety five is your price. Let's have a look online and we will pick. Tell you what we'll do. We've got the lovely Molly, who's our producer, uh, and we've got the very talented Chris, our director. So how about you guys pick one each and then we'll let another Molly on the team, our floor manager, she'll pick the final one. <laughs> so sage green for our producer, Molly. <laughs> Chris has gone for the yellow ochre. And Molly's gone for the burnt umber. There you go, she wants the burnt <laughs> umber. Uh, so there we go, that's the choices of our team. Uh, it's as simple as that to add it to your basket, and then you are good to go. We're going to offer you another medium. <laughs> gouache. Yes. Tell us a little, what's the difference between the gouache and the, uh, the System 3? So, um, history, yeah. <laughs> for starters. So, gouache is uh, actually uh, a very old paint. It used to be known as body colour. Mm -hmm. was around in the time of um, J.M.W. Turner. He used mm -hmm. to paint on tinted papers, so it's not a new thing at all. Wait, wait is this kind of paint that Turner would have used then? Yes, absolutely. So the whole wow. idea of it was that it gave watercolour, which he would use uh, very frequently, yeah. more body. Yeah. That, so that's why it was called body colour. Dale oh. Rowney actually used to work with Turner 
to uh, improve the quality of their paints. So this has a long history. People think, oh, it's really new, and it's so not new at all. The I mean, it works with Turner. I know. It's just the, the provenance behind these paints is incredible. Um, and your knowledge is just seeping off you as well. <laughs> well, I'm really passionate I'm basking about... I'm it. <laughs> I'm really passionate about gouache yeah. because it's the paint I taught myself how to paint with. Wow. Years and years ago. And I loved it because of its intensity. And, and love it still and this the thing about it is that it will show up on dark colors so if you like painting on black or dark so any of those kind of things um, now I know that people will be looking at that and thinking well why is it any different from acrylic but acrylic dries waterproof yeah gouache is editable forever Oh. So you can paint with it, you can go back into your pictures, you can edit them, you can smudge them, you can, uh, if people out there are used to pastels in terms of chalk pastels, yeah. it's sort of the paint equivalent of that. I tend to combine the two an awful lot Ooh. in my work, but the colours are phenomenal. Well, they are, and to show that vibrancy yeah. on black cardstock is phenomenal. I have to say, 1375, uh, picking any three is such a good price too. When you consider, you could go to your local art shop, art supplier, and pick up a two. And these are artist quality. They certainly are, And that's yes. something to point out. And you've got to, you've got to instantly, uh, just, I think, have that in your head. Artist quality, you go into your art store, a, a tube of paint that size, we were discussing this earlier, and you could pay five, six, seven pounds plus just Definitely. for one tube. Definitely, yeah. So the price we have, 13.75, from a company that's been around, uh, has real provenance to them. Worked, they were developing the paints with Turner back in the day. Come on, 735-143, your item number there. Now we've got a bit of an essentials kit coming up next. Yes. <sighs> <laughs> I love brush -os. I was actually playing with brush -os the other day. Were you really? Yeah. Um, so I do love brush -os. I'm just going to show you here. You're going to get uh, four of your brush -os, and we're just going to show here. These are your brush -os. I mean, come on. They're great colours. They are. And I, and I think um, if people have followed me in the past or, or watched previous shows, they know that I have a long history with brush -o, Yeah. And that's kind of where I started in um, appearing on um, the craft store. That was one of the first things I ever did. So What's it's nice brushos, to have it yeah. back. We love the brush -os. So these are the colours that you're getting. It is your lemon. You can see there, there's your scarlet, leaf green, and your Parisian blue. So those are uh, your four brushos. Now you're also getting, is it Prussian blue? Sorry, apologies, Prussian blue. Uh, now, you've also got the sprinkle pots. Yeah, These are quite nice. They're, they're useful for um, decanting your brusho into yep. if you want to, but also for all, all manner of other things. If you've got powders, I'm sure that all of your lovely viewers will have all sorts of things that they want to be able to decant or even to mix up themselves because there's no reason why you can't mix brusho colors together. That's and make nice. your own versions of them. So the sprinkle pots come in very useful for so that. This is your own personal blend. It certainly is. Like that. Uh, now, you've also got your new beginnings, uh, brusher or brusher beginnings, I should say, DVD, is it? Uh, with yourself. Yes. When you think about this, the amount of knowledge you get, because we can have brushos, and I love brushos, but you, this is a real foundation how to get the most out of your medium. Yeah, I think brusho is one of those products that, that people purchase, and then I always say uh, hides in the back of the cupboard, yeah. um, and that people go, oh, that's really lovely, I'll put that away. Yeah. <laughs> Use and then yes absolutely use them because they're not half as scary as uh, you think they might be mm. and the idea of that brush show beginnings dvd is to just kick start you to just go try this try this try this and and so is it kind techniques of put you in. So we've got full projects yeah in there. you've got the um, peacock feather uh, project oh, on there which is done. it's always a done, done yes isn't it? <laughs> uh, and then finally we got our uh, we got a pen spray bottles in there too. So you're getting your three spray bottles, you're getting your DVD, you've got your six blender bar tubs, I should say, and then you're getting your four brushos. All of that for $24.59 with an eight pound saving is a great bargain. Uh, 215-924, your item number. Speaking of bargain, brushes. And I was always taught, and especially here, it was instilled in me, drilled in me, you get what you pay for. Certainly do. And oh, yeah. brushes is a great example of that. 
These are exceptional quality. They are. So these are the SAA's silver yeah. brushes and they are a nylon filament. Mm -hmm. And uh, one of the reasons that I wanted to have them in the show today is because they are such a, an all-rounder. Yeah. They will work with your brush. They will work with the gouache. They will work with the acrylic. You don't have to keep swapping the brushes out. Um, they come to fabulous points. You know, I am mm -hmm. horrible to my brushes. And uh, those silver brushes stand up to all manner of abuse that and I give them. And they still stay faithful. Yes, yeah. yeah. Well, I like the actual, you, you picked a really nice collection here because we've got our flatter brush, which I imagine for our colour washers. Yes. Then you've got, you can do different techniques in there. Is there a rigger brush in there? Um, it's uh, yeah. a slightly shorter yeah. one. You've got, um, so you've kind of got large, medium and small for, well, for one of a better You could do techniques, yeah. I'm thinking for like limbs of trees, yeah. colour washers, yeah, more detailed work, expensive work. Yeah, flat brush to get edges in yeah. for doing buildings or anything like that. You've it's kind a nice of got collection. all bases covered. And great, look, 2178 for four brushes if you really break down that price and you realize value for money that is and it's good quality as well uh, 072659 your item number now I tell you what we're gonna do jump onto the website there's lots more discover on our website uh, you can see uh, so much there we've got a lot on the show so I would advise it is worth maybe jumping onto the website getting ahead of us if you do have any questions we'd love to hear from you studio at the craftstore.com now we have mentioned the SA and we've got to uh, say a big thank you to the SAA so it's uh, the so Society for All Artists if you want to become a member here is a great deal in becoming a member of the SA you can't purchase it through us but there is a link on our website and if you do follow the item number here 127400 you're not going to pay the 45 pounds to us so uh, this is just because we had to create the item for you to follow so you're just going to click the link do not put this into your basket just click the link and I will show that in a moment what are we getting here though Alison because there's an awful lot I mean value for money this is very good well I mean I, I can talk about the SAA yeah. <laughs> until the end of the show really um, the thing about the SAA is that they literally support everybody so it doesn't matter whether you've only just started not even picked up a brush or whether you are a seasoned professional there is something in that membership for everybody so they have tutorials they have magazines they have access to all sorts of resources that as an artist beginner or advanced you are going to find useful it's such a good buy uh, I actually bought this for as a present for my mum because she's you? retired she's a retired ar architect but she's an incredible artist and I thought you know I'm just getting this for her. And like you say, the amount of resources that are open to it, there's video tutorials you're, you're looking at, and there's immense. But also within the membership, you are getting an awful lot here. So we've got our magazines that you are getting. There's also discounts in there as well. So you've got a five pound uh, discount code as well. Uh, you're getting the SAA carry case in there. You've got craft paper. You're getting it. Uh, so for that £45, you're getting so much more in there value-wise. So uh, do have a little look. I'll show you how it works on our website. So if you go to, there you can see, there's the item number. Click on there. You don't put it in your basket. You scroll right down. And you'll see click here for SAA membership. And that is how you do it. So you click on that link. And then it will take you to the page. And there you go. I know it's saying for high channel viewers, it hasn't been updated, but uh, obviously it's for the craft store viewers. Okay, so that's how it works. Uh, now, I think it's about time we start having a play. Uh, it's been so long, I want to see Alison in action. So uh, we're going to head to Alison for our first demonstration. So if you do have any questions, please get in touch. We are a live show, and that is the beauty of being a live show. Just email studio at thecraftstore.com. Alison, what are we going to do? Thank you very much. Um, I'm going to try to create the impossible. <laughs> today right, okay. I am going to try to combine acrylic and gouache and uh, show you a couple of different demonstrations as well because it might be that you haven't uh, experienced this type of paint before and uh, I just thought we'd have a grand old play this nice. morning that's Happy what that. I thought we'd do so I am using a black watercolor paper for my demonstration uh, which is a little bit unusual but I'm sure when you've seen uh, the paints that we've got uh, on the show today you will understand that they're just going to look so vibrant mm. on here 
So when uh, one of the items that uh, you've got on the show today uh, is a black watercolour pad, which is my uh, branded watercolour pad, mm -hmm. um, and you have some white trace down, which I know a lot of your viewers will already know as a way of transferring line drawings, but you've also got a set of line drawings which are my photographs and my uh, line drawings too. So if you're not sure about where to start, you can use my line drawings. You don't have to worry about the scariness that is drawing, all of those kind of things. And so all I've done is I've taped that down to my watercolour paper. I've slipped my bit of white trace down underneath and I've drawn through with a good old fashioned biro. And what I've got is a nice uh, transfer there of a little bit of um, kind of patch of daisies mm. that uh, I have done. So this is the photograph that I've been working from. Um, this was taken in my back garden um, before I mowed the lawn um, <laughs> and uh, I just I like things in close-up that, yeah. that's the bit that sort of inspires me more than mm. anything else uh, so we've got these daisies so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use some acrylic okay. and actually I'm going to use the acrylic without uh, any brushes to start with because you probably see um, on these uh, fabulous system three tubes you have a, a rather splendid nozzle Mm. on the end of them so you can paint straight away with that nozzle and that's mm. exactly what I'm going to do on my piece of paper okay. so I'm going to just invert it and I'm going to squeeze it out into the center of my daisies now uh, you could do this with the gouache but the reason that I'm going to be doing this with the acrylic paint is because this will dry waterproof so it doesn't matter what I do around any yeah. of the daisies this is going to stay put oh, perfect. and yeah. uh, like we were saying about the consistency mm. of this paint it's going to stay you can actually see there's a little peak in the paint it doesn't self level yeah. so it means you can create some rather interesting textures with it so I've, that was the uh, cadmium yellow, mm -hmm. and I'm going to use uh, some of the rich gold too, because we want some slightly different colours. So I've got the, I love this metallic, it's yeah. so Ooh, pretty, yes. really lovely, it shows up so beautifully on the black. Right. We have got details for the pick and mix for the uh, System 3 paints on your screen right now. Nine ninety five for a set of three is incredible. If you are looking for the uh, watercolour paper that we're working with as well, this is your Waterford Black Papers. Um, is it watercolour paper then? It is watercolour yeah. paper. Um, it actually isn't so just Waterford uh, okay. Black uh, Paper. It is um, something that the SAA and I have come up with because black properties in, water in watercolour paper need to be slightly different mm -hmm. from white properties in watercolour paper. Oh. So, so uh, you work with to... the SAA and develop that? Yes, That's yeah, cool. they're fabulous at developing products they yeah. really are and they uh, that's one of the things I love about them is that they listen to what we have to say mm. and then they try to do something about nice. it which is really rare we'll you know. just flash uh, we got a picture of this bundle just to show you so there we go uh, got to correct ourselves so I apologize it is not Saunders Waterford black papers it is a uh, paper stock that's been developed by the SAA and uh, Alison herself but 26.99 your price saving 10.99 you're getting an awful lot uh, there's also a white version, which is going to show you here. Now, the white version, it is the Saunders. Yeah, so the white version is the Saunders Waterford. So that is, uh, generally speaking, uh, considered to be one of the best watercolour papers that you can buy. It is a cotton-based paper, so mm -hmm. it means that it has fantastic water-holding properties. It allows the colour to float on the yeah. surface. These are all things that people are going... Why does that matter? But it really does. It and really it's does. It's when you use it. Yeah. And this is for artists in the know. When you mention Saunders, Waterford, what did you say? They're kind of not. It's that. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> There's a reverence that goes with Saunders yeah. Water, but it's a really funny thing. So um, when when you're with a bunch of people that uh, who understand watercolour paper and have used various before, and they say, well, what are you using? And you say Saunders Water, but they go, oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. oh, the, oh, the Saunders. <laughs> it uh, always makes me chuckle. <laughs> <laughs> so you are saving £14.06. Uh, great saving on this. You're also getting the trace down. So you're getting the A3, uh, A3 graphite trace down as well as that fantastic, Saunders Waterford uh, watercolour paper as well as a cotton watercolour paper so good weight to it as well yes yeah mm. 300 gram I mean so you, can't, you, you really can't go enough. wrong you really can't go wrong or and again like I said about my brushes I abuse my brushes horribly and I abuse my paper horribly as mm. well I get it to do all sorts of things it's not supposed to do and it stands up to it really okay. well 
So I'm going to take uh, one of my little silver brushes and all I'm going to do is uh, tap down the surface of that acrylic paint. Okay. Um, just to move it so that it uh, stays put and I can kind of tweak it and move it around. Now that has to dry but because I'm uh, trying to multitask today I'm going to have two projects on the go. Mm -hmm. um, so over on this side um, I'm going to uh, create a little moonscape for mm. you. I love so uh, this, uh, this is the little moonscape that I thought we would have a stab Cute. at today. And uh, so what I've done on my black watercolor paper, I have masked off a square um, with just a, a bit of framers tape. Mm -hmm. And I'm actually going to do something rather peculiar and unusual. Okay. <laughs> so again, I'm going to use At my... 7.20 in the morning. I know. I mean, I have been up quite a long time, so it, I'm not sure what time of day it you is now. Drive, you didn't drive... Do, I did, and I do it, sometimes drive up now, from Dorset, you, but um, yeah, I've, I've, I've not driven up today. Yeah. <laughs> now, I did get the luxury of staying last night. So, what I've done is I have um, smushed, that's a technical uh -huh. term, a little bit of white and black mm -hmm. onto my surface, and then I'm going to take a, a bit of card, mm -hmm. and what I'm going to do is stick that down and lift it off, and stick uh -huh. it down and lift it off. Now this is the artistic smush. You might the see such great smush. artists as Turner <laughs> and Ali uh, employ this technique. By the way, you've got a lovely email in. This from Beatrice. Uh, oh. who's saying, I love the name by the way, Beatrice. And she's just saying it's lovely to see Ali. Uh, you're saying you're so knowledgeable and it's lovely to see you back. Oh. I'd like to echo that thought. That's it is lovely kind. to see you here. That's really kind. Thank you very much. And a very good morning, Beatrice. Oh. It's nice to uh, have you in with us. Well, this is the interesting effect. You're getting beautiful textures. So, yeah, sticky. I yeah. quite like it. Oh, yeah. I mean, I, I'm a massive fan of printmaking, any yeah. kind of printmaking. So anything where I can interfere with it or, mm -hmm. or make textures out of it, any of that kind of stuff works for and me. I would take it you'd also use that as well. Oh, yeah, you know, that'll get yeah. turned into something. Yeah, cool. <laughs> Piece of collage, all mm -hmm. sorts going on there. Now, um, I do need to give that a little bit of a dry, okay. if that's okay, Yanis. The, um, I need to show it the heat gun and just to take the edge off it a little <laughs> okay. bit, if show, that's okay. Show it the heat gun. <laughs> Uh, what, what I do is have a recap. Uh, so uh, we we've got a lot on the website actually. If you jump onto the website, you'd be able to see everything. We have got the beginner's guide for you. Now I've got to talk about this because this book it is Ali's latest book, and uh, she actually released it just before lockdown. And you're also getting the DVD. And when you consider you're getting both those and the line art that you're seeing there as well for 19.95. So the book. The DVD and the line art for 19.95 is a great price. You're saving 90. Oh, sorry. You're, well, you're getting a great saving. Your price is 19 pounds and 59 pence. So 9.99 saving. I have got the book in my hands. I just wanted to show you physically that book, and it is exceptionally good. I mean, I, when I start off the show by saying that I had a huge amount of respect for Ali, I genuinely uh, mean it. I mean it. I meant it. So um, you can see here. It's very good. It's an absolute treasure trove. Oh, look at that. Of information, inspiration. You're getting a great grounding of uh, the principles explored in here. But you also have the projects to really learn your craft, hone your skills, and express your artwork. All of that in one book. So the book in itself, genuinely, I would happily pay 19.59 for. The fact that you're getting the DVD and you're getting the line art, I think is incredible. 097-712, uh, your item number. Now, we've got to talk about this bundle. So you're getting the Saunders Waterford cardstock, and we talked about this. There is, artists will know the meaning of Saunders Waterford. It is that kind of watercolor cardstock that I, I think Ali described it brilliant, brilliantly, has a revenance to it. You kind of, it, oh, oh, you're using Saunders, are you? Oh, oh, cheeky little bit of Saunders. Um, it's cotton, so that's, look, that's one thing to really stress, the fact that it's cotton. It's considered one of the best watercolor car stocks that you can work with. You're also getting the trace down in there as well. And not only that, you're getting all of this line art. So 10 line drawings that you can trace down and start poking through. So uh, if I just, I'm gonna try and sneak these out and have a look. When we talk about the line drawings, oh, now these are great. 
So beautiful images. So whether it is, can you imagine working off that? And then obviously you've got the inspirations behind too. So that's, you've got the picture showing you where you can take it and then you've got the line art. So I'm showing you the line art and then there's, oh, beautiful. That would be a really nice project to try and emulate. Or how about here? So, I mean, really nice pictures. Were all of these found in your garden, Ali? Uh, yes, or uh, slightly manufactured because I didn't have a peregrine falcon to hand. Okay. So uh, I borrowed disappointed. one. I'm very I would have put money on the fact. <laughs> but the goat lives next door. Yeah. <laughs> Incredible. I love this. So that gives you an idea. I won't flick through them all, but it just shows you what you were getting there. Uh, that is one option for you. It really is. And can I just stress, like, there's certain principles and when it comes to art, you really want to work on the best uh, cardstock that you can. And watercolor cardstock, the Saunders Waterford is exceptional. The trace down's fantastic as well. $27.99 your price there, saving £14.06. Now, something you don't necessarily see all the time is black cardstock. And very, very, very busy for this as well. It is, again, a watercolor cardstock. And it was created in this... Annie is such a talented woman. Uh, the fact that she's worked with the SAA and developed this because it's looking for the right principles that you want from uh, black cardstock. And let me show you something. If you want to really, I mean, we're seeing the, the giraffe now on the black cardstock. And that, to me, just is the perfect illustration of why you need the right watercolor cardstock to work to achieve and get those effects. So what, with, when you're developing this, Ali, yes. I'm intrigued because obviously there must have been a need to develop this pad. What problems were you encountering, say, with other white, uh, black pads? So, uh, uh, other black uh, watercolour papers that I have worked with in the past, uh, some of them, it's really difficult to describe a lot of the time because a lot of it is to do with feel. Okay. So, you know, the way that a brush uh, sits on the surface or the way it glides over the surface or the texture. Mm. Um, so for mechanical objects, uh, um, I've worked with black papers where it has a very regular texture. Mm. I wanted one that had a bit of an irregular texture okay. so that I had the freedom to be able to uh, a good create... Example. A variety of subjects yeah. on there. Um, the, obviously, the weight it needs to not fall apart on mm -hmm. you. It needs to be something that's going to stand up to you, or I say you, me, yeah. uh, being really horrible to it. To kind of asking an awful lot of it, it needs to be really black. Yeah, because True black. you know there, there's there's several blacks around, and it needs to be blacker than black because otherwise, what's the point? Yeah, um, all of those kind of things. And so you know that that's one of the reasons that I um, I have to thank the SAA an awful lot because I I go to them going. Can, can you just do this? Can you <laughs> tweak? Could you, could you just do this? And they go, yeah, of course we can. And they've done <laughs> such a good job. So just to say, you are getting the trace down, you're getting the pad, and you're also getting the outline drawings uh, as well, templates uh, in there too. Twenty six ninety nine your price, 554-344, your item number. Ali, are we all drawing? Uh, w well, you know. Kind of. <laughs> It'll do. <laughs> Otherwise, one. otherwise we're just standing here watching me dry paint, which is uh, uh, no fun at all. So um, we'll pretend that the middle of the daisies are dry. They're dry enough for okay. what it is that I want to do. That's fine. This is dry, and a lot of people we have this discussion a lot. How do you tell when paint is dry? Mm. And the answer is you stick your finger in it because that's the fastest way to uh, work it out. So that's I'm going to work on <laughs> I'm going to work on both of these um, paintings at the same time because uh, they kind of they need uh, work on each of them and I want to show you more about the acrylic paint and more about the gouache as well. So the first thing I'm going to do mm -hmm. uh, over on this one oh. is uh, I'm going to take a white pencil and a circle template and I'm just going to draw my moon shape on there. Now this, uh, I put this together, this little demonstration, simply because I know how off-putting it can be sometimes for artists like myself to kind of rock up and go, oh, it's really easy, just do this, and you know. And I know that there'll be people out there going, well, I can't possibly do that. And it's my absolute uh, kind of, what, what's the word, driving force mm. to say, yes, you can. You've just got to start with slightly simpler things and work up to like more complicated yes, things. Yes, you so can. I wanted to put this together so that you can see the quality of the mm -hmm. acrylic paint that we've got going on, the fact that you can create textures, you can see it dried the same, it doesn't yeah. sort of flatten out, it's really lovely. I, I'm, 
I'm so impressed with the texture as well from that technique you're showing with the paints for the, for the composition that you're developing for the moon. Fantastic. I'm going to, I'm, I, have, I will borrow that. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. And then, um, I don't know if you can see on my palette, but this is the black uh, acrylic paint that I've just started to add a little bit of water to. Mm -hmm. And uh, it creates such a silky appearance to it. So whilst you can get texture out of it, you can also get this rather lovely thinned out texture too. Mm -hmm. Yes, look at that beautiful oh. camera shot. Look at that. Um, so really glossy and rather delicious. And what do you say to artists that kind of poo-poo black? You know someone's <laughs> saying... That's the brilliant question. Yeah, yeah, they're, they're, yeah. there are some artists that kind of, they, they yeah. turn their nose down at black. Yeah, don't they? Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, uh, how can I put this professionally and politely? Uh, never let anybody tell you how you can and can't do something. Yes. Right, <laughs> Including good. me by the way, huh? that, that applies to me as well. Just because I'm suggesting that you do something doesn't mean you have to pay any attention to me either. <laughs> you know, that's, you go away and you find it out for yourself. Yeah. And then the way that you like to use it is good enough. I call them the art police. Yes. Those people that tell you how you should and shouldn't do stuff. Mm. And all that does is stifle creativity. Yeah. And I can't be doing with it myself. <laughs> And it has, um, who was I working with? It escapes me, it will come back to me, a guest recently, and we were talking that when they were at school, they had a, um, oh, I'm starting to remember, because <laughs> I wrote a, oh, it was, um, it was Jill from Festival Japan. Oh, right. And she was saying when she was at school, she had an art teacher that really knocked her confidence. And Jill is an incredible artist. Right. And she did, she, uh, Festival Japan company, I mean, she just loves Japanese culture and does, like, great, Japanese artwork, but um, a teacher, art teacher, said she'd never amount to anything, was a terrible artist, really horrible words, and then Jill gave her a little mention in the book, because <laughs> she, ah. she released a book just to say I want to dedicate, you know, oh, and that was kind genius. of like a nod to say, hey, look that what I did. That is genius, because, yeah. I'm sorry, but if you are a tutor, your job is to encourage people. It's true. That is the point of your job. So to stand there, okay, you, there will be levels of that. There uh -huh. will be people along the way that you spy and you think, okay, maybe this is just a hobby for you. Maybe this is a bit of escapism, but it, who cares? <laughs> I, I don't see the point of being somebody who is trying to pass on a craft yeah. and you telling somebody that they're not going to be any good at it. What's the point of that? It just makes you a lousy teacher. I totally agree. But, That's beautiful. you know, I could yeah. talk about that for ages. Oh, I, won't, I, totally I won't get started. <laughs> <laughs> it was it was nice because we had I mean, we have a lot of mollies here uh, um, the craft store, but um, we had a director in the past, a Molly who was director, and she was trained by Chris who's directing today. And oh, I right. remember when she left and went on to different positions, she said the impact he had on her and just training and really yeah. motivating her. I mean, he still stays with us to this day. Yeah, yeah. And, and and the thing is as well that that motivation travels through in all walks that's not just about you being enthusiastic with somebody because they're learning how to do one thing that's about you being enthusiastic with somebody because they will then go away and see if they can conquer other things mm -hmm. and if you're not being that person to encourage then what you're doing I love you Ali I genuinely <laughs> love you and I was thinking just as Ali was saying this I was thinking I would love Ali to be my art teacher. And the fact <laughs> is, she can be, because we've got the books, we've got the DVD. She's I'm teaching here. you now, so yes, she can be your teacher. <laughs> uh, and I know you do a lot of classes as well, so do search for Ali's classes, online classes. So brushes. Now, these are a set of four that Ali wanted to bring on the show today. Twenty-one seventy-eight. your price. They're the SAA Silver Brushes. Beautiful quality brushes, and it is important working with the right quality brush. And I also like the difference, the variance that you're getting in the brushes from the size. You've got the flat brush in there as well. We are getting busy for these. You're saving nine pounds. Uh, zero seven two six five nine. Your item number. Can I just talk about? I mean, the price on here, twenty one seventy. I think is very good because if you consider one brush, let's say this one. I mean, you could go to an artist shop, get a different brand, yep. similar sort of quality, and pay a lot more. Oh, definitely. Most definitely. Yeah. And you can, and, and I'm sure people out there will know as well, you can pay a lot more for that and get poorer quality as yeah. well. So those, those silver brushes, again, that was something, one of the SAA's uh, brand of brushes that I started with 
and uh, they're just a brilliant all-rounder. Yeah, uh, the size 10, that's worth uh, 10 pounds and 19 pence on our website on its own. So I'll give you an indication. And that's the SAS price, which is very, very good. Uh, sorry, SAS. <laughs> that's a whole different kind of art size. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's a whole different, that's a whole different <laughs> ball game. Uh, let's continue, Ellie. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, what you've uh, probably seen me doing, I, I drew around um, my circle template, and uh, then I took my black, I thinned it with a little bit of water to make it flow better. Mm -hmm. And I haven't done the best job of going around the circle, but it'll do. Yeah. It will absolutely do uh, for today's uh, demo. Yeah. And um, what I'm going to do now is to work some trees back in over the top. Oh, okay. um, so I'm going to use one of the slightly smaller brushes, and I'm going to show you a fir tree technique. Oh, okay. We're going to sort of go uh, slightly more Scandinavian nice. in our moonscape. Um, so this is the medium size in the round brush and I'm mm -hmm. coating it uh, with a bit of acrylic paint uh, on there. And then what I'm doing is I'm gonna uh, take my piece of kitchen roll and I'm going to control the amount of paint that's on there so that I get this, you can see that in the camera, this beautiful fine point mm -hmm. on my brush. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to work back over the top of my moon to dot in very kind of hit and miss over the surface. You have to keep picking up a little bit of paint mm -hmm. and adding it back in. We're going to dot those fir trees over the top so it looks like they're in silhouette. Mm -hmm. And we can come down to the bottom. You can start lower down or further up or, or however That's it works for you. very effective. And uh, if we do a, a slightly smaller one over no. here, so we'll dot backwards and forwards. But you can very, very quickly build it up. Oh, I love that. Uh, let's go for a diddy one over here. Uh, getting that in. Let's fill all of that in as well. It's a beautiful moon. We you can imagine a little boy on a bike. See, sort of flying. <laughs> there was something in the basket yeah. going past. Yeah. Um, we'll put in some little kind of upright huh? trees in between, and then let's go. Yeah. Let's just control that amount of paint. Um, let's go for a sort of medium-sized one over here. We've had a lovely email in from Kim. You're going to like this. Oh. So uh, Kim says that Ali is her favourite modern artist, and she's got a few of your DVDs. Oh, bless and, you. Uh, she's actually aspiring right now to do the Brush OL. Oh, yeah. fantastic. Oh, that's brilliant. Thank yeah. you, Kim. You're very, very kind. she's also the System 3 paints. But uh, it's like, you have got a lot of fans out there, Ali. Well, yeah. I, I would be nothing without them, it has to be said. <laughs> They, uh, they are the reason that I do what I do. When uh, you get lovely emails like that, what's not to like? Oh. What is not to like? So we've got our um, trees in. Uh -huh. Now I'm going to take uh, some of the white, squeeze that out onto uh, my palette too. Uh, the good news is, because these are so rich in pigment, you don't need an awful lot of them mm. squeezed out. You know, you're not using masses of it. I'm going to give my brush a really good clean. So going for the pick and mix with the System 3, I would... White, I think, is a very valuable colour, and I'll be tempted to put them in a basket because, am I right in saying that would allow us to tone the other colours? Yes, so um, you have uh, two, well, you've got three whites in there, but two main whites in the pick and mix. Um, so you have titanium white mm -hmm. and you have zinc mixing white. And I know um, it might be a little bit confusing because you might think, well, white is white. And the idea is titanium white is the whitest white. That's mm. a white if you want to use white on its own. Mm -hmm. uh, but if you mix that with the colours, uh, it does pastelize them. So it sort of makes them into ice cream kind of colours. Yeah, yeah. Whereas the zinc mixing white, whilst it's not as particularly white on its own, it's still pretty good, mm. but it's not as white as the titanium white. Um, that will mix with all the other colours and make paler versions uh, of them. That's really valuable to hear, actually. Because <laughs> I'd be using them the titanium white for highlighting for the eyes, you know, when you yes. put a little white in the eyes? Yeah. And the zinc mixer, as the name suggests, that yeah. would be your, your mixer to sort of tone down the To colours. tone it down, yeah, yeah absolutely. I mean, actual fact, the zinc white on the black watercolour paper shows it really well anyway. Mm. So, you know, if you, if you are um, budgeting, um, either, either or, yeah. it, it doesn't really matter. So, uh, I've got that brush loaded up okay. with a bit of my titanium white. I keep taking my glasses off and I can't see. 
can't see. Um, and we're going to go, let's control that colour back on our brush again. And what I'm going to do is add a little bit of sort of snowy highlight over the top. So we really kind of are going northern lights, maybe Scandinavian, well, maybe Scotland at the minute, because they've had some rather lovely snow. Yeah. Um, and we we'll just add a few little bits backwards and forwards. Uh -huh. So it looks like our moon is just glinting off the surface. I would love to see the System 3. You know, you mentioned about um, the jelly plates. And we actually had a jelly plate show uh, oh, one day special a few days ago. Did you? Uh, so, I mean, these would be perfect for anyone at home who's got their jelly plates. Yeah, I love a bit of jelly plate printing. Yeah. What's not to like about that? And uh, you've got some rather exciting colours in the System 3 as well because you've got copper and gold and, and all sorts of other things um, mm. in there too. So it is uh, a nice selection. Yeah. Right, I'm going to stop poking that around. Love that. <laughs> Otherwise I'll be there all week. Uh -huh. um, what I'm going to do is uh, very gently peel my masking tape away. Oh, that looks good. So that you can see. And I'm, what I'm hoping is that people can uh, see that you don't have to do anything massive. You know, you don't have to spend hours creating a painting. You can very quickly and simply get a rather interesting effect yeah. just on that black watercolour paper. Perfect. That look, it really does look so impressive, but very Thank achievable you. what you've yeah. shown there. Yeah, I hope so. That's, um, you know, that, that's always... I mean, I could have, on uh, the original, I, I made uh, the moon a little bit uh, brighter. I spattered some stars in the background, all mm -hmm. sorts of things. So it has uh, masses of scope yeah. there. Love it. Uh, the whole point of this album, we've got to again thank the SAA because they're a huge part of bringing here to the craft store some incredibly talented, absolutely first rate artists. So if you do want to become a member of the SAA, it's the Society for All Artists, you can get annual membership. So a year's membership. Now, it's not through us, so you can't put that, on, you have got the option to put it in your basket. Please don't do that. That's not how it works. Um, when you press on that, use that item number, go to the link then you press the link and it will take you to the SAA website where you can purchase it but when you consider what you're getting in the actual bundle so you're going to get access this is a year's membership you're going to have a year's access to so many tutorials uh, there's like 700 tutorials Ali's there, uh, Matthew Palmer, I mean, they've got absolutely first-rate artists. You're also getting uh, magazines, so you're going to get that six times a year. Every two months, you get an SAA magazine. Uh, you're also getting savings on the SAA homepage as well. You're going to get painting insurance if you want. You get free gifts. You've got discount codes in there as well. So uh, it's also, oh, I've got to point out, it is an automatic renewal. So if you don't want it to renew, you do have to uh, cancel that. You have to opt out of that if you don't want it to renew. But uh, this is the Society for All Artists. Whether you just started today is your first day picking up a paintbrush or you've been painting for the last 60 years, it really is for everybody. And say, please don't put this in your basket. The way it works, you use the item number, you press the link, and you go to the SAA website. Uh, we're going to go, and that's it, on our website. We're just going to show you uh, everything on our website. That's all you do is uh, click on the link, and you, uh, here it says click here, and you just follow the link, and you are good to go. Uh, we've got a lot on the show today, and what Ali's trying to do is showcase the fact that the mediums that we're working with here, the quality is important, and they are artist quality. So whether it's a System 3 or the Ganache, uh, you, you work at Goulash. Goulash? Goulash. Goulash. <laughs> Ganache, Goulash. <laughs> <laughs> three, three attempts, I've got to roll them It's fine, one. no one can ever pronounce it, so don't worry. <laughs> uh, but you're getting, uh, with the System 3, it is artist quality. It is, yes. And when we say this, because uh, people are watching, and I watch TV at home, you see shopping TV, mm -hmm. and you hear sort of buzzwords, artist quality. Yes. What does it actually mean? It's the quality of the ingredient. Because okay. I know a lot of people think, oh, it's for, it's for artists to use. Yeah. And that isn't really, um, obviously they do, yeah. but it is to do with the quality of the pigments, the quality of the binders, the way that they're processed, they're not kind of mass made. If you think about it, if anybody knows anything about paint manufacture, 
They're, the pigments and the binders are ground together on machines. They're done one color at a time. They're not mass produced. You yeah. know, it's not some kind of endless factory where this is done. Pigments are hand selected. They have to go through grading processes. They have to be sourced so that when you buy a tube of lemon yellow, it's the same color. When you buy the next tube of lemon yellow, wow. you know, there are pigments sourced from all over the world. They are sourced from places like the oil industry. They are dug out of the ground, all manner of stuff. So it's that kind of quality for, for De La Rowney, for example, obviously it's hundreds of years of history yeah. of quality as well. And it's keeping that up to run alongside uh, today's kind of um, wants. Yeah, that, I mean, when you hear it like that, you realize how much has gone into this paint. In artist quality, you're getting exceptional quality and you want to work with the best. But also, I mean, so affordable, 1995, you're picking any, sorry, 995, I apologize, 995 and you're picking any three. Uh, your item number is 211204. If you just want to explore mixed media, fantastic. If you want to just add to your stash of acrylic paints, gel uh, plates, jelly plates, phenomenal. Do have a go with these, they work so well. 211204, your item number, 995, your price. Uh, now, we're going to talk about our gouache. So, you're saying, as a company, yes. Been around, it's the, uh, remind me again the name of the company? So it's Dale Rowney. Dale Rowney, yeah. and they've been around, they, they started developing these paints with Turner. Yes, so there were, there were two companies effectively. Yeah. There was George Rowney and Son, who were based in London, and there was the Dale Board Company, who were based in my neck of the woods, down in Dorset. Yeah. And um, uh, they'll forgive me for not remembering the exact date that the Rowney Company started, but their history of working with artists, mm -hmm. of working with artists who are names of people that you would recognize, for getting things like the introduction of the metal tube, because that mm. was something that uh, at the start it was oil paints, they would use pig bladders to kind of store oil paints in the metal tube, is a rel relatively recent uh, uh, mm. invention. Yeah. So it's all that kind kind of work, it's all of that history behind supporting artists, creating products that artists want to use, that um, has a quality that with all the time and effort that you put into your own work, you don't want those products to wow. fail you. Do you know, I'm just drawing from my memory bank and De La Rowney, I think they were established in 1783. See. Mm. Very, very old. I might have been company. fed that information. You might have been. Possibly. <laughs> there are. See, I was really impressed. Speculation. I couldn't. I couldn't even tell. I had to ask you the name of the company. <laughs> 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 I knew it was 17. I didn't want to misquote yeah, them. I didn't want to misquote uh, them. <laughs> look, quality here, and when you said this is nice, because you're talking about the difference between the acrylic and uh, the gouache. Yes, gouache. well done. Um, I keep wanting to say goulash, but you see, it's the opaque. Uh, the fact that it's opaque. Yes. And it's so vibrant on the black cardstock here. I mean, absolutely beautiful to work with. But you can, I like how you describe this, it gives you the ability to re-edit. Yes, so um, I mean that, that giraffe painting is a classic example that uh, we, we ran a, a workshop recently with um, people who were a little bit nervous about yeah. painting on black paper and so we used the gouache so that they could go back in and re-edit it and it uh -huh. didn't look overworked, that's, that's the point of it. Our floor manager Molly has had an epiphany. <laughs> I've just heard her in my ear say, I just realised opacity comes from the word opaque. <laughs> it does, Molly. <laughs> I love the fact. Well done, Molly. We're, all, we're all learning here at the craft store. Uh, Thirteen seventy-five is your price. Seven three five one four three your item number. Now we do have uh, a fantastic bundle as well. It's a book, DVD, and you've got your line art in there. For nineteen ninety-five, the book and DVD, all by Alison, and uh, Ali's just so good. You can see it this hour. You don't need me to tell you this. She is so good on the educational stakes, and I think giving you that education in such a digestible manner. So uh, nineteen ninety-five for the DVD, for the book, and the line art is an utter bargain. I've flipped through the book, and I cannot say enough praise for it. It's very, very good. Zero nine seven seven one two. Your item number. Ali, we have about six. Minutes left. Okay, really, really fast daisies. Um, so what I'm going to do is use the gouache now so okay. that you can see that opacity. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 
I'm just going to make me laugh now. Um, <laughs> on the piece of paper, and you can see how editable it is. What okay. I'll do is I'll, I'll work a little small section up so that um, people can see it. I've got uh, three colours squeezed out to my right-hand side. I've got a zinc white, I've got a process green, and a cool grey. So this is quite um, important to make gouache up into a sort of single cream, double cream consistency. Okay. If you make it too thin, what tends to happen is that it doesn't cover properly. So what we'll do is we'll go back into this and we'll start to put some rough daisy petals in. And I'm using those silver brushes. So this is the same silver brush that I just used for my little moonscape. Yeah. Now working back in uh, to create those uh -huh. petals and you can see straight away how that colour sits on the surface. Yeah. And gouache has an interesting property anyway because um, the pale colours on uh, black paper dry slightly darker mm. and the dark colours dry slightly paler. Well, so you kind of have to have that in the back of your head ever yeah. so slightly. Okay. But um, what they do also is that they also dry slightly more opaque than when you put them on because the water evaporates. Yeah. So uh, you can see straight away how I haven't had to do an awful lot. All I've done is get this to the uh, right consistency, mm -hmm. that kind of single double cream consistency. I can paint that straight back on over the top. I'm being very speedy with this lovely people out uh, in your audience will take a lot more time over it than, than I have. It's nice seeing the two together and obviously the centre for anyone who's just tuned in, the centre we used our acrylic, our Systems 3 uh, pick and mix which is at the bottom of your screen and they have such a, a lovely consistency, it's like yeah. thick, you can water them down but then working with the two, the gouache um, complement each other very nicely. They do and, and this is what I want to show you, this is why gouache is amazing so I'm just going to give this the quickest dry ever <laughs> So we'll give this, you'll see how much more opaque it dries as well. So we'll give that a dry. Look at the change in that. Super, super white now. Wow. It's incredible. On black cardstock, and after yeah. the bundle with uh, the watercolour cardstock, the black cardstock, and the trace down, and the line art, we're going to put that at the bottom of your screen. The cardstock that Ali's working with, she developed with the SAA, and you can see how good it is. So, if I had made a gigantic boo-boo with this, mm -hmm. and I put something in the wrong place, I've got that damp brush, I'm going to go back into that paint, oh. and I'm going to lift it straight off the paper. Oh, wow. And, and that's what you're saying with the uh, gouache? Yeah, absolutely. So you can work back in. It makes it very editable. Yeah. So if you are a beginner or you're a little bit nervous yeah. about painting, then you don't have to worry so much because you can go back in and move it all around. Right. And what I'm actually going to do now is put some green stems in. Now, this is um, a really good example of how a dark colour dries lighter because you might be looking at that thinking, well, that's not a very impressive uh, colour. But if I give that a bit of a dry, you'll see before your eyes how it dries paler. Oh, yeah. Becomes more opaque, sits right on the surface. That, I mean, it really does stand out. You'd yeah. be forgiven for that. It doesn't look like it's on the paper. No, You feel I like know. you can pick that up. It's incredible stuff. And um, I came across it when I was first starting to paint because um, when I, I got fascinated by um, illustration and calligraphy. And so that kind of needing a flat yeah. colour and needing it to be, uh, you know, br no brush marks yeah. visible in it, all of those kind of okay. things. So uh, that's where I started. That's yeah. um, how I learned to paint. Right, how and long have got I got? Two minutes. Two minutes. Okay, all Less I'm going to do then is uh, do a little bit of spattering because okay. anybody out there will know that I do like to finish a painting with a bit of flicking the, the colour. Do like a crafty splatter. <laughs> so yeah. a bit of the white, and like I said, you'll do much more with this. Yeah. Um, people at home, they've got all those line drawings if they've bought the black pad. Um, you can add all sorts of other things to it. But I hope what that has done is just give uh, a bit of an insight into the differences between the two paints, but also a bit of encouragement that you can use both together. They don't have to be isolated. You can mix your media up. There are no rules. Yeah. Just got to experiment and crack on with it, really. I want to reiterate the fact that you are so good, Ali. Genuinely, hand on heart, I think you're exceptional. Okay. And 
working with Ali, I think I want Ali to be my art teacher, and she really can be. So do look out for the book. Uh, do look out for the DVD as well. They come together, uh, and also the SAA membership as well. Ali, have you got another hour today? I have at eleven. Eleven o'clock. Yes. So do make sure to tune back in at eleven. Uh, Ali's got another fantastic hour, and I know she's got so much more that she wants to share with you. It's going to be us again. It at is. 11. Yes. Amazing. Yes, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I'm looking forward to that. I hope you've enjoyed this hour. This is what the craft store is all about. We try and bring you fantastic products, and that is a key value of the channel, but also incredible artist. And I think Ali definitely falls into that category. So, Ali, thank you so much. Very quickly, can yes. we follow you on social media? You certainly can. Ali Board Artist, yes. wherever you have uh, a social media everywhere. account. Everywhere. Everywhere. Well, I know I follow you. I'm pebble dashed across yes. the social media. And you post such good pictures. So, uh, <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed it. Ali's back at 11. Oh, we've got the La Blanche one day special. It's going to be the Pooge uh, and a partner in crime, Paola. After that, Pink Ink Designs and then Oakwood Daisy and Critters. What a morning here at the craft store. Hi everyone, I'm Phil Martin. I've been a paper crafter for well over 20 years now and a designer for just over 10 years. Sentimentally Yours is my multi-award winning brand of clear stamps, rubber stamps. I've now also introduced lots of craft dies in there, design of papers. I have my mediums where we've introduced the Flawless Media brand into the Sentimentally Yours family. We aim to inspire you to be educational and to teach you how to get the most from the products that we're bringing to you. The Sentimentally Yours family has grown uh, to include my good friend Julia Watts and our new designer Trudy Howard. Hopefully we're all going to bring some 